Hi, uh, this is Arjun. Welcome back to my channel once again. Uh, today, I'm going to cover regarding uh, data set interview questions, basically, which uh, the interview person, the panel will ask the questions on the interview level. So we'll discuss about this topic today. So, so basically, uh, the most of the questions on uh, data set will be related to the descriptor file control. So we'll discuss about what is data set and then we will go for the interview questions. Okay. So basically the data set, the main motive is uh, uh, to use it as an intermediate staging process. It means uh, if we have large volume of data, which is coming from the source file. So instead of loading into a, a target tables directly so we load it into a data set and then we used to call those data set as a source that is the reason we call it as intermediate staging process so how the data set will process the data so that based on that the questions will ask now so the first interview question in data set is let me share my screen So the first question of data set is, so what is the purpose of data set? The answer is the data set is mainly uh, runs on parallel nodes. It means uh, it will run on multiple nodes. Basically, it runs on orchestrate engine uh, with multiple nodes. So uh, that is the main motive of the data set. And the data set will store the data in binary format. The binary format means we can't read directly when we view the data in data set. So the problem is that will be there under the binary format. So to view the data set, how we can view that will come to the next question. Basically, if anyone asks what is the use of data set is data set is an intermediate staging purpose. We use it and the data in data set will be in binary format and uh, it runs on orchestrate engine. So this is the answers which you can say in the question. And then the second question is how the data sets, will, the data files will be created. Whenever we are using as a data set as the target as source. So basically the data set will create four files. We call it as data file, descriptor file, control file, and header file. So the descriptor file will be having the description of the data. It means the schema name, and on which node the data needs to be processed and what are all the pools where there that information will be there under the descriptor file that descriptor file is nothing but the dot ds file which we create in the target level so that is the descriptor file so let me show you what is that descriptor file uh, let me design a small job uh, for this uh, is I'm, I'm showing you the basic job design how the data set will look like. This is the data set, which is looking like this. It's a binary format. By seeing the stage itself, we can find it out. It's a binary format. So let's say now I'm storing the files in one of the folder. I have created one folder in downloads data test practice, I'm using this part, okay? And control, I'm saving, I'm copying this and I'm pasting it here. Now, whatever the file name we are giving here, that will act as descriptor file. Let's say I'm giving as um, demo.ds. So this we call it as a descriptor file, okay? So based upon this descriptor file, the data files, control files and header files will be created. So let me save this and let me run this particular job. So once I ran this particular job, yeah, it's running. So once it is done, I will explain it in detail. Yeah. 
if you see there are three rows are processed from this particular sources to the data set now this data set whatever the file name we have given that we call it as descriptor file if you go and see here download data space practice files if you see demo.ds this is ds file basically extension is .dsc it will throw an error we can't open and view that properly because it's in binary format so this we call it as a descriptor file okay then it will as i said that it will create data files the data files basically will create based on your node configuration at project level it means in your project if you are using as two node configuration file then it will create two data files it means basically the data will be splitted among the nodes for example how we can check where the data files are created the data files are created basically if you go to the tools configuration uh, whatever the default dot apt this is my path here your data files will be created let me copy this and then search it here see now you have created demo dot ds as i said that descriptor file we have given that will be having about the description data files will be having the, the data if you see here there are two data files it means my default node configuration at project level is two node configuration file so that is the reason i have the three records the three records is created among these two nodes see if you see there are two data files has been created so these are the data files basically uh, if the node configuration if you increase to four node also it will not create four data files it will create only two data files because at the project level you have only two uh, node configuration file that is the reason it will create two data files so if you see here two data files how to view the data this is data files and then the control files header files at the back end it will be created you cannot see the control file will be having controls and what uh, node the data should be processed that type of controls will be there under the control file and then uh, you will be having um, header file header file will be having only the schema names this is the second question answer so how the data files will be created means so whenever we are using the data set it will create four files that is data file descriptor file control file header file so i have explained in detail what is data file descriptor file control file and header file so i think you people are clear with this answers then the third question how to view the data set data so basically to view the data set data we can't view directly because it is storing as a binary format to view the data set data we have few approaches the first approach is whatever the data set you have used right click on that and view that particular link data you can view the data that is the first approach the second approach is uh, in tools option we have data set management option let me show you that option as well uh, before that it is loading the data see now i have three records which i have there this is the first approach then the second approach click on tools data set management inside the data set management um, you can see the folder so where our descriptor file we have placed right so there you have to go i have placed my descriptor file under uh, data stays practice files downloads data stays practice files here i have placed my descriptor file demo.ds just select your descriptor file then it will take uh, one or two minutes of time to open the uh, pop up window wait for one or two minutes of time yeah you can see now as i said that based on your node configuration file your data files will be created as i said that at the project level i have two node configuration file the first node it will uh, we can say it as partition num 0 for the second node it will act as 1 and if i have node 3 it will act as 2 the number of the partition num will be 0 it will start with 0 now you can see right there are two data files has been created you can see here itself so to view the data just we can see the options here the below you can see the list of options which we have so show data window show schema window so click on show data window then you can click on ok now it will show you the data this is the second approach and you, you should know that on which node how many records are processed basically the back end it will act as a round robin partition technique it will split the data one after another so now see you have three records if i want to check on which node 
which record has been processed just click here select which partition data you want to check i want to check for the partition num 0 i selected that and i click ok once i click ok then it will show only the partition num 0 it means node 1 data only will be populated see in node 1 i have two records and node 2 i have one record because it was split into two nodes this is the second approach to view the data then the third approach is at the unix level unix server level we have a command called rcadmin. So you should use the rcadmin command, rcadmin dump, and provide your descriptor file name and provide the text file. It means we are dumping our data into a uh, from data set to the text file by using rcadmin dump command. The command is let me show you rcadmin dump your descriptor file name. And your descriptor file name, then provide your file name. So, this is the command which we use it for the third approach. This is overall how to view the data in data set. So, clear, guys. So, the next question is how what they will learn. Basically, um, uh, the next fourth question is like how to delete the data set. So, Keep in mind, this is very important interview question. Mostly they will ask. Um, so to delete the data set, uh, we have few options. So, but basically we can't delete the data set permanently. Uh, so for example, let's say, if I delete the descriptor file here, data stage practice file, the descriptor file is the main file. If I delete this, only I, it will delete this particular one, but it will not delete the data files, which I showed earlier. You cannot this data files will not delete it so so to delete all this permanently then we have an option uh, is our admin delete the first option is the command line unix command like uh, we have to use our admin delete and provide your descriptor file name. descriptor file name is demo.ds just demo.ds this is one approach to delete the data set permanently. If I use rcadmin delete demo.ds, it will delete your descriptor file, control file, header file, and data files as well. So if I want to delete forcefully, rcadmin delete f, I can use it. So these are the commands which we can use it. Then the third, second option is, as I told you in tools configuration management, go to the tools, tools, configuration sorry not configuration tools data set management data set management after after that uh, you should select your descriptor file where you have placed i have placed under the data stage practice files folder demo.ds click ok once you selected you will get one new pop-up window Yeah, it will take time one or two minutes of time once it comes then i will show you yeah uh, you got it right so you can see here the delete into button so to delete data set we can use this functionality also so these are the two options which we can use to delete the data sets permanently so if you delete individually it will not delete permanently it will delete that particular component okay this is the how to delete the duplicate then, then uh, how to delete the data set permanently. Then fifth question is, uh, that main important question is like, um, so I triggered this job on two node configuration file. It created two data files. If I trigger, if I reduce the data, the node configuration file to single node. So is your job will run successfully or else your job will get aborts? Basically, if you increase the data, uh, if you increase the node configuration from two to four, or if you decrease the node configuration from two to one, also your job will get completed successfully. Okay, it will not throw any warnings or any issues. But uh, basically, it will if uh, if I use two node configuration file or uh, for this data set, and I have used this data set as a source to the another data job. 
it will run successfully if i change it to single node also but while loading again into a target level it will run on single node only it will load it in single node itself that's it other than that there is no issues will rise but if i have huge volume of data your performance will get reduced a little bit because the data should be processed on single node itself this is overall about the data set interview questions um if you have any questions or clarifications needs uh, for this particular thing you can um, comment in the comment box or else you can call me uh, my number will be provided in that particular thing uh, and moreover um, i'm giving you online trainings if you are okay with my performance so please um, you can connect for the data test training Uh, we will provide you the complete training and then placements as well with a good uh, with a single package we covers data stays oracle unix self scripting data warehouse git jira everything will be covered in single package so hope you guys understand so if you are likes my video please like share subscribe uh, it will help for me for the further levels thank you thank you bye bye good night